Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to be doing another Disney Twister Wonderland video and these feature the new Weiss Schwartz card boxes which is actually a TCG style game in Japan which you can always use Google Translate on the cards but um, I was so happy to get my hands on four different boxes. Each box comes with 10 packs and I believe you get four cards per pack. And there's so many different rarities to hunt for. It's it's kind of crazy. And White Schwartz is very popular. They make a lot of different... Um, I know there's an animated Disney set. And some of those cards are, are very rare. They did Marvel. They did Star Wars. They do a lot of different animes. And when I saw the Disney Twist in Wonderland, I pre-ordered it off of Neokyo, which is a great shopping service site um, based in Japan. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. From what I'm aware of, this is the very first Disney Twisted Wonderland Y Schwartz set, which is pretty exciting, and it features all of the characters in their birthday outfits, which I love. They do so many different birthday events for the characters. In Japan, they're on year four, which the fourth one was the Disney 100 Platinum outfits, which we don't have that on the English server, but this one um, is really cool because they have the birthday boy banner, and they're holding like little balloons with their birthday on it, and there's always such cool art and vignettes to unlock. A lot of the interviews too where you get to learn more about the characters occur in the birthday cards. So it is very cute that they have a whole card set. They also released a bunch of other birthday merchandise too with acrylic stands and shikishi boards and all that which is a whole lot of fun. So new artwork, so cool. You finally get Malleus with his horns showing because they usually get cut off in cards. So that's, that's good to see. And these are hard to get a full set. So it looks like there's 65 basic rarity cards, 89 parallel cards with ha which have different rarities. The the super special rares are 22 different types, which I think those are the most expensive and the hardest to find. And of course, there's no guarantee rates. Then they have double rares, specials, rares, normals, BR, and twisted rares too. Um, and I think you get a glitter card in every pack. So that will be exciting to see what we get. I know already some of the individual, especially the SSP cards, the super special cards, um, can go for quite a bit. So here's here's hoping for some good luck with, with four boxes. And then in total, it looks like to get a full master set, which that would be quite the undertaking, consists of 154 cards, if I did the math correct. <laughs> <laughs> I've never opened Y Shorts. I've watched live streams to this, but so happy to get my hands on that. I swear that Neokio site has like changed changed the way I shop. Very cool packs. There is a little tear tab there, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna cut them just to see. Okay, I didn't cut that all the way. I didn't want to cut off off their heads. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a card trick or anything, but we'll we'll learn together. Oh, cool. They have a nice little, little backing. And our first card, oh, they must have dorm cards. We have the Palm Fiori dorm. So this is the, the game play rules. Again, I don't know anything about that. Oh, how cute. We have the Hearts Label card with all the birthday boys and the cool embossed gold dorm logo. Oh, that's nice. So I think down here you have the rarity. So the N is normal for the emblem of Pomfiore, and then this one is the twisted rare. And apparently there's 22 types on that one. So I think we have the riddle one, and I think the 22 different types would change who your main character is, but then also put the other members of the dorm on there. I like the gold stamp too. Oh, that's a cool one. Okay, and then, oh, we have Apple. And that is a, a normal. And then our other card is Jamil. So I think this card counts as like our foil card from that pack. So we'll learn as we go, but I'll set, it looks like we have three of the normal rares. Um, from that pack and then one twisted rare. Oh, and what would be fun is that you can match the character to the closest date of your birthday. I already know the character closest to my actual birthday. So that, that could be fun to do and you can leave me a comment down below. Who, who's the closest to yours? Or it, did you get lucky and did any of the 22 actually land on your birthday? I don't know anyone who has yet, but that would be awesome. 
Okay, next pack. Let's try the tear tab. Oh, I don't like that though. It kind of pulls right there. <laughs> Very sensitive with my cards. Okay, so then it looks like we have the normal card of Riddle, which is the same pose. So I think there might be different art poses too, but there we go. Oopsies. Um, and then we have the back. Okay, that's cool artwork. Oh, I just, ah, I love it. Also a normal card. And then, <laughs> oh, we have a glitter card of um, Jade. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. And what's funny is 1105 is their birth date, November 5th. So the twins, which is funny because they're octave vanilla and I love them, are the closest to my actual birth date. So there is that. And look at, he is a glitter card, which is awesome. And the glitter card has the R designation, which is rare. And it looks like there's going to be 19 types that have the R marking. So that's really cool. I, I love the eel twins. And then our last card is a normal of the Diasomnia group. That's awesome. Okay, I know Malleus is taller than Zebek, so this must not be uh, standing all side by side, but that's cool. I like the, the group cards. Our next pack, oh, has the Palm Fiore group as a normal card. Looks scary. Oh, Jamil is our um, glitter card this time around. I do like the colors of the dorm in the back. I'm just realizing that right now. Now, even though he's the same type of glitter card as Jade was, it looks like he's a double rare. And there's only 10 types that have the double rare designation. Okay, so we'll put that one aside. Oh, yes, then we have Azul. Oh, that's awesome. So this is a normal card. I realize his pack art is different. I, I like his pose here a lot. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I can't wait to get the whole uh, Octavanil group together. Oh, my God. <laughs> Spe speak speaking of which, there we go. Oh, yeah, you can see the different poses there. Um, okay, that's awesome. And that's their group card. Oh, that's fun. Okay, that was, that was a great pack. So I'll sort it by dorms as well as the rarities. Okay, our next pack is the Hearts Label Emblem. Cool. Oh, and then we have a glitter of Deuce. Oh, look at his pose. That's really cool. So he's 603. Maybe I should read the birth date so you guys can match up. Oh, that's a nice card. And he's a regular rare. Oh, and then we have Lilia. Oh, that's awesome. January 1st. I didn't realize that. And then we have Ortho 0814. I do like how the glitter goes down on their emblems as well as their like levels, right? So he's a level one, as well as a level three. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure if those are hit points. Hmm. If so, as well pretty high powered there, but you gotta love Deuce. <laughs> oh, then we have Silver, the normal card there. That's awesome. So he's 0515. Oh, then we have um, a cool double R of Vil. He's 0409. Oh, yeah, he recently had his birthday event going on. Very cool. We have the Scaravia emblem. And then, oh, cool, we have Malleus. That's awesome. He's 118. Okay. He's leaning forward, but his horns do fit. <laughs> Okay, we're halfway through that box, five packs to go, and I realize we are missing Savannah Claw. We have found no one from Savannah Claw. Oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, yes, we have the Octavanil emblem. Very nice. And then we have a group card of the Hearts Label Gathering. Look at everybody there. They all look so cheerful. Okay, so they have a high high rate. So that is also the, the normal rare type of card. Oh, and then we have Ace. And he is a rare, our designation. Does he have a different... No, he has the same pose there. Okay. I wonder how some have different poses, but that's cool. And then we have the Ignahide logo emblem, which also is very, very cool. Okay, next pack. Oh, cool. I see gold. So hopefully it's someone from Savannah Claw. <laughs> I definitely don't like opening the packs this way. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'm never going to do that again. But we do have Jack from Savannah Claw. He actually looks really cute there. He's very um, interested in his balloon. So he's 10, 11. So October 11th is his birthday. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute artwork. And then we have a cool a glitter card of the Hearts Label group. All the other different poses. Okay, so they do have like two different artworks that you can find. And this is a rare. But in addition to the glitter, it has like the gold foil around the side. I really like the, the group cards. And like their balloons have the glitter as well. Oh, that one looks really cool. So I wonder how many cards go sideways. It just makes for displaying in a binder a little difficult. But so far we have two, uh, two of the hearts label ones. Oh, and then we have Rakim. Very cute. 418. April 18th. Wow. Oh, Reggie's cute. And then <laughs> we have Trey. We have Trey kind of hiding behind the balloons there. And he is October 25th. So he's kind of close to Jack. Oh, yes. I was going to say, we haven't had an idiot card yet. Oh, I like how they did kind of a side profile with his flame hair. That's actually really cool. Um, he's December 18th. Yeah, that's really cool artwork for him. Oh, cool. We have this of a Jamil Viper. That's a different rarity. And I like the gold embossing and the Scarabio logo as well. So you get the full, full body shot. So this is that BR rarity where there's 22 types, and I'm not sure what that stands for, but there you go. That is our first BR rare. And then we have all of the Ignahide gathering with Ortho and Idia. Oh, you can see how small Ortho is. And then, yes, we have Kaleem, 625. Oh, that's like perfect art for his character. That was really cool. Two more packs out of that box. I like how you're not really doubling up on the, the normal cards, which is pretty nice. Oh, Cater. That's a cute pose. He's doing his thing. So he's February 4th. Very cool. Oh, yes, the Savannah Claw Gathering. Okay, finally something with Leona in it. Oh, yeah, their poses are different there, too. Look how that looks disinterested. As usual that is a cool card I also like how their backings match their their dorms that's cool that's a nice attention to detail oh gosh it's Rook <laughs> okay we found the rare Rook card oh Rook creeps me out a little bit but there you go he's an R card what is his birthday December 2nd huh okay is that December 2nd really yeah okay and then we have Leona Oh, I like the cool artwork. Okay, this one looks like he just woke up. Which he probably did. And his is 727. That's fun. That, <laughs> that encapsulates his character rather well. So I feel like I just made a grave mistake. Um, why? Out of all characters? Are you kidding me? Rook is closest to my actual birthday. I didn't know that. And I didn't want that, but, oh, well, you know what? I don't know much about him. I'm actually on book five, so there you go. You know what? He can use light magic, so how how bad can he be? Aw. <laughs> okay, moving on. Wow. Rook, really? <laughs> Man. Here we go. And we have Vil. That's the normal card. We have Ace, normal. Again, different pose. Okay, I think I like this pose better than that pose. Doing his thing. Oh, then we have the... Oh, wait, this is one of the um, rare cards with Jamil and Kaleem from Scarabia. That's cool. I like the, again, embossed gold. And then we have the Savannah Claw emblem. So I'll do a recap of all our rarities out of our first box. Then I'll make it a little confusing. So um, there's the designations. It looks like this side are going to be the parallel cards, and then these are our standards. So we found six of the rares. Some of them went sideways. Very happy about Jade. And then we found two of the double rares. Then we found one of like the BR cards, 
whatever that designation means, but it kind of has a different look to it. And then we also found one of the twisted rare cards with the gold stamp. So I'm wondering if you get one of these per, per box. We shall see. But ultimately we found two of like the parallel cards. We found no SPs or SSPs and look at how many. Oh my goodness, this must be an impossible set to try to complete. But you know what? I'm very happy with our first box. Three more to go. And this is where we'll probably start doubling up quite a bit on our normal cards. Since there's only 36 types, but that is okay. Cool artwork. I'm just very happy to, to have these and add them to my Twisted Wonderland card collection because there's so many awesome cards out. They also released a wafer card pack featuring the Birthday Boy design too, so um, that's pretty neat. And I do have um, a set of those to open. Okay, so brand new box. First set, we have Ignahide. I'll go through them faster. We have Trey again. Oh, cool. We have the double rare card of Idia, which I really like the, the blue and how that catches the light with the black and gold. That's a cool, cool looking card. And then we have Ace. Then we have another Apple. Oh, another um, rare card of Scarabia. So that one's a double, as well as Sebek, and then the Palm Fiori Gathering, which is also a double. We have Deuce, Leona. Oh, cool. We have the rare card of Ignahide. Oh, I like the background. Again, there's something with that blue, black, and gold. Very pretty. And then we also have Ville. Cool Ignahide box thus far. I wonder how rare those super special designations are. Must be pretty rare. Oh, cool. We knew this one. A uh, normal card of Jamil. Oh, <laughs> we have Silver. It looks like he's falling asleep, um, which is fitting. So he's a rare. I also like the green against the black and gold. Very nice. So what's his birthday? 515. We have the Hearts Label logo as well as a regular silver card, which I feel... No, we, that's a duplicate. <laughs> but this one's really cool. That's a nice like fluorescent green. I'm sorting through my cards. We put Jamil in the wrong spot and we needed that deuce card. So yes, I got to sort better. <laughs> now I feel like we have the least of Octavenil. We started off really strong though. And then we have the Diasomnia Gathering. Oh, we have a Trey Rare Glitter card. Cool. I like this pose better than his other pose. And then, <laughs> yes, we have another Jade, but it is the normal version, which we needed. And again, different pose than his glitter card. I like that. They like to touch their faces. That's fine. That's nice. And then we have the Scarabia Gathering. We needed that one as well. Oh, yay, we have Floyd. Also touching his face. Okay, that's great. They, they all got the memo um, to, to pose like that. Okay, I love it. That the, They my faves. Oh, we have a riddle, which is a double rare. Very cool. Then we have Reggie again, as well as Idia. Pack number six from this box. And ooh, come on out. Inside we have the Scarabia emblem, which is very cool. Malleus. Yes. Oh, awesome. So we have the Twisted Rare of Octavanil. But it looks like Jade's like the showcase one, right? R1 had Riddle on it, but we have Jade and then Floyd and Azul with the cool embossed stamp. So I wonder if you can find like whoever is in the, the forefront. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, yes, yes. So perhaps you get one of those cards per box. I'm very happy to get Octavanil. Oh, so, so awesome. Oh, and then we have another group shot for hearts label. And I ran this through Google Translate and it is the Octavanil dorm card, even though you have like Jada as the main 
like picture on there so I wonder if you can find variations but it looks like it does it will probably do the same no matter which character is in the forefront um, which is really cool yes so so happy to add this one to my collection Then we have Ortho. Oh yes, we have a rare of Lilia. Oh, I like the pose too. Oh, that's cool. Love the black background on those cards. Then we have the group shot and another Octavanil emblem. Two packs left in this box. Let's see if I can cut both of them together. And yes, we have another Azul. Gladly take that. Oh, how funny. These come together. <laughs> the Octavanil Gathering card. Oh, Jack. Jack is our rare. Again, a different different pose. He's very happy there. You can see his uh, birthday balloons very clearly. And then the Diasomnia logo. We needed that one. And then our last pack for this box, we have another Lilia. Oh, yes, we have one of those BR cards. Yes, and we have Azul, my fave. Oh, that's funny how we got Jamil in the last one, too. That is so cool. Okay, in Japanese, they put an E at the end. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, there's Rook. Oh, do we need him? I don't know. And then Cater. So you must get one VR card per box as well. Okay, that's that's awesome. Okay, so I translated this and it's a character description because I'm like, is this a playable card? But there's actually a backside of the variant artwork as well. So I'm still not sure if these are playable because then you could obviously see, but look at how cool that is. And it still has the VR designation and then it has more of a foil pattern on the back. Or if this is the front, is this the back? I don't know. But I Google translated this, and it's just his character description, which reads, he's the head of the Octavian Little Dorm. He runs a cafe on campus. He is polite, but very calculating and miserly. How funny. So I don't know if these are playable cards because of the, the two sides. <laughs> which we then need to do Jamil Viper, too, because his card has this side as well. And um, that's funny. Right now, I'm watching the Japanese... Um, event uh, Tapi Rouge and these two characters, frenemies, are are in it, and it's just a good time. Ace is in it, and also Bill. So that's that's funny that those are the two BR cards I got. I ran Jamil's description through Google Translate, and it's funny. It says he has served the Kalim family for generations and has been bossed around by the careless Kalim since he was a child. <laughs> Jamil, did you write your own description? Because that one's, that one's a bit more favorable to you. How funny is that? Okay. That's, okay. <laughs> so that box had the same rare ratios as the other one. We had six rare cards. We had two double rares, which it looks like the dorm leaders, but I th think we had Jamil, so maybe they count um, him versus Kaleem. If we, if we get a claim and see if it's double rare or regular rare. And then we had one of the BR cards and one of the twisted rare cards, which both were octavanil. So that was a great box. <laughs> so with two boxes in, which is 20 packs total, it looks like we have the regular base set of 65 basic rarities complete because you get an emblem, you get the gathering card, and then you get the single characters for every dorm. And we have that for everybody. So... Um, I think we're set. We're just looking for all the, the different parallels, which again, there's 89 different ones, let alone, you know, finding the SPs and SSPs, which we haven't pulled any of those just yet. So those cards must be like the ones like come per case or, or something like that. But either way, I'm having a grand time. I hope you are too. <laughs> again, feel free to let me know which character matches the closest to your birthday. That would be cool. I'm, I'm just stunned that mine is Rook because <laughs> yeah oh well maybe he'll turn out to be one of my faves I doubt it though because he's creepy okay so inside we have another group shot oh we have the BR card for ortho which we now know has this side oh and his different artwork as well he has his eyes open okay that's that's cute we'll do the translation there his description reads that he is Idia's, quote, younger brother. He is always with Idia and cares about his older brother. In contrast to his brother, he is cheerful, honest, and curious. 
<laughs> a little a little dig on idiot there, but a nice description for Ortho. I guess it wouldn't be too much of a spoiler. It's, it's very clear um, that Ortho is a, a robot. So there's there's a lot going on with, with that backstory too. Okay, so next pack we have Riddle. We have, yay, we have Ruggie as our rare card. Oh, look at his claws out. That's cute. I like the pose he's making. And then we have Ignahide and Trey. Oh, and even though he's not a house warden, he's a double rare. So that, I guess, is is kind of random. I guess there's 10 double rares, so they must have made some um, vice house wardens a double rare too, which is cool. Ruggie, Ruggie deserves it, <laughs> especially after putting up with Leona so, so long. I'm going to try to cut three packs at once. That always scares me, but it will expedite matters. And then Ruggie again. Very cute. Then we have Idia. Oh, that wasn't our special spot. Oh, there's Silver as the rare, which is a duplicate. And then we have Malleus. Next pack is Bill. Oh, we have this card again. Oh, wait, no, it's different. It's our stamp card. <laughs> Scarabia loves us. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we have a lot. Um, but that's awesome. So this is their Twisted Rare card. What we're assuming is the one per box. And it's actually really cool that so far we have um, pulled three different dorms. And look at the cool gold embossing. I do like how Jamil's front and center there. Oh, we have another Floyd and then Deuce. Our next pack. Oh, I didn't cut that all the way. We have Ace. Pomfiore. Oh, cool. Our rare card for Apple. That's a cute pose. And then Leona. I'll try to do three again. We have the Diasomia. Rook. Oh, cool. We have a rare of the Ignahide. Oh, I think this one's a double. And then the D Diasomia group. Next pack. Cater. Savannah Claw. Oh, there's Sebek. So he is a regular rare. Cool. We needed him. Oh, and another Azul card. Next pack. We have the Pomfiori group. Oh, yes. Yes. We have Floyd. And is he a double rare? I can't tell. Yes, he's a double rare. Oh, that's cool. Yes, welcome, Floyd. And then we have Kaleem and Savannah Claw. And that's his different pose, too. Oh, that's a nice one. And then just two more packs for our third box. I'm just loving everyone that we've pulled so far. I feel like we've been pretty lucky, especially with some of my faves. Speaking of which, oh my goodness, how cool is that? So we have the rare card. How oh, funny. Like, I just talk about that and I summon them. Um, that is a beautiful card. So that is the rare um, group shot. Love the purple background. I really like how they chose the black with the gold. It matches so well with all the different dorm colors. And to have those three. Oh, my. Is this like an Octavenil pack? Like, seriously, all Lily is thrown in there. <laughs> that's That's hilarious. Oh, that's cool. And then our very last pack for this box. Oh, I did not cut that open all the way. We have Sebek. Oh, we have another Jamil and Kaleem. This is like my third. That's the rare card. And then we have a cute Happy Jack. And then the Ignahide gang there. Yet again, a very consistent box with six rares, two double rares, new characters though, one twisted rare, which is our stamp card, and then one of the BR cards. And then our very last box. Oh, it's been a fun time. Still have not found a special or a super special designation. So those must be extremely hard to find those two designations but this has been so much fun beautiful cards really nice quality as well I'll go two packs at a time for our last box 
Out of the seven dorms, we found three different ones for our Twisted Rare, so that's pretty lucky. Here's, here's hoping for a fourth, but we shall see. <laughs> okay, so we have Jack. Oh, yes! <laughs> we have Azul! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my goodness. So that's the double rare card. Oh, we got we got so many Azul cards. We we cleaned up with that, which I'm very, very happy for. Oh, yeah, and that's, that's the other pose he's in. Oh, that's cool. So that's the double rare. And we have Cater and our Savannah Claw Gathering. I realize now that means we found all the Octa Vanille rares and double rares because Floyd was the double rare and Jade was the rare. So that's okay. That's that's perfect. Very, very happy with that. And then our second pack, we have the Ignahide Gathering. We have Kaleem. Oh, we have Ortho. And that is a rare and the Octa Vanille logo. Then we have Savannah Claw, Apple. Oh, yes! Yes, we have the double rare of Leona. Looking very disinterested or sleepy or both. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, glad, glad to have that one. And then our group shot for Hearts Label. We have Ignahide, Trey. Oh, yes! Our stamp card is another dorm. We have Diasomnia. With silver in the forefront in a different pose. He looks a little bit more awake there. Oh, how cool is that? I love their crest. Oh, then we were really lucky with our twisted rares to get four different dorms. Oh, hi, Rook. How's it going? Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's awesome. How lucky is that? <laughs> Next two packs. Leona. Oh, there's our tray rare. Cool. We got um, the Scarabia Gathering and Diasomnia. And then our next pack is Malleus. <laughs> Floyd. Oh, I feel like we've doubled up on this card a bit too. This is uh, the rare Ignahide Gathering and then Hearts Label. Our next two. Man, do those SPs and SSPs exist? That's those must be so, so rare. No wonder they're pricey. Oh, we have Deuce. Oh, cool. I forgot about that. We needed our um, BR card. So we have Cater. Cater Diamond. Well, that's cool. He has a different pose there, too. Very nice. And then we have Jade and Silver. We'll have to do his character translation. They've all been favorable, except for his Zul's. <laughs> And Cater's description, it's a long one. So it says, a third year student at the Hearts Label dorm, a sociable boy who can read the mood. He's knowledgeable about popularity, food, and trends. However, he can be ruthless at times. Cater ruthless? I wouldn't describe him as that, but maybe because he, he sold out a deuce during Beanfest, maybe? I don't know. I don't, I don't see him as ruthless, but either way. We have Scarabia. Ooh, we have the rare card of the Diasomnia gang. That's cool. We needed that one as our rare. We have Sebek and Pomfiori gathering. And then we have our very last two packs. This has been too much fun. And I'm very happy with all of the cards we've opened. Next up we have Lilia. Oh, Rook, there you are. He's our rare card from that pack, Ville and Ace. I guess we'll just put those down and then grab our last pack. Let me put Lilia in his spots. Okay, so very last one. We started off with Ortho. Is that our rare card? Oh my goodness, it is. <laughs> How many Scarabia cards <laughs> do we have? Well, there's our rare for this pack. And then we have Pomfiore and Riddle closes it out. Just like all our other boxes, we have six rare glitter cards. We have two double rares. Very happy about those. We have one of the BR double-sided cards and then one of the twisted rare dorm stamp cards.
So out of four boxes, which is 40 packs, we completed our 65 like base set cards rather easily and quickly. Um, we did double up on some of the regular rare cards. We did not double up on any of the BR rares, which you get one per box, um, nor the stamp cards, the dorm stamps. We didn't double up on those, which that was really lucky. And we also didn't double up on the double rares. So we actually have a really nice assortment um, for those cards, which I'm really, really happy about. And here's all our lovely cards from today's opening. So again, two things. Feel free to let me know which character has their birth date closest to yours. I would love to know. I was so happy thinking I had the eels, but no, I have rooks. So I'm kind of, yeah, still not over that one. Um, or you can let me know like which character like pose or art style did you like the most. Doesn't have to be your favorite character although I tend to, to choose that way, but either way, um, I think they did a great job on the art, and it's just so cool to have some Weish Schwartz Twisted Wonderland cards. And that'll do it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can also check out my Twisted Wonderland playlist, which is a growing playlist, which I hope to add a lot more videos to in the future. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. Love to share my love for Disney Twisted Wonderland with y'all. And I do hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.